Okay, so this is my attempt to do a review on the Line 6 Power Cab that might actually be useful and helpful to somebody. And the reason I'm starting this out like that is because I'm admitting from the very beginning that whatever process you come up with is probably flawed when it comes to trying to take a flat response speaker that's modeling a real speaker cabinet and compare it in any helpful way to a regular flat response speaker like the JBL Eon that I have here on the floor in front of me. Um, so what I've got wired up here is just an idea. Uh, hopefully it's something different than everybody else is doing. Hopefully it's actually somewhat helpful. Uh, but what I've done is I have rigged up uh, an, an EVPL20 that I have um, at ear height. What I'm hoping is that the PL20 will pick up something that sounds kind of like what I'm hearing through the PL20. It's not in stereo. It's not my ears. It, it's, it's not, it's not going to work. I know that already, but you know what? It's fun to try and it's fun to give people a comparison. So hopefully this is somewhat helpful. I'm going to pick out of my magic drawer. Um, I'm just in my office, uh, my regular job. And uh, so I've got the, what's going to happen here um, is I'm going to move between the power cab, which right now is in flat response mode, and, uh, and the JBL Eon, uh, just to compare how they sound uh, similar or different in flat response mode. And then I'm going to move over to one of the modeled speakers here in a little bit. I'm using my Kemper profiling amplifier for the demo um, and a... Uh, Lazy J tweed profile that I've grown to like. Uh, I think it's really simple, really straightforward. Um, the profile was made with the Celestian Blue speaker, and so that's when I get to that part of the video, what I'm going to use um, is the Celestian Blue model. Uh, but for now, let's just get to a couple sounds. <laughs> that's clean sound, neck pickup. Um, here's the bridge. Okay, that was the power cab. Here's a couple other chords. Okay. So I'm going to turn the power cab off just by rolling its volume down. And I'm going to turn the Eon on. And I'll play something similar. Okay, so I have no idea right now how that's going to sound on video, but here's what I hear in the room. Already the power cab and the Eon sound different. Even in flat response mode, they sound different. Um, and for lack of a better term, I mean, the, the Eon really does sound like a PA speaker. And what I've come to be used to, it's a little bit rolled off it's not quite as articulate it's a little bit boomy in the bottom end despite the fact that i have tweaked the eq on this just ever so slightly like i have been what i've been gigging which means i rolled the highs up a little bit and i rolled the bottom down i also have it in tilt back mode that you can see which helps with the bass response quite a bit even when i do all of that the power cab to me already sounds more like a real guitar amp despite the fact that it's on its tilt back legs shooting up at me um, it already sounds that way. I'm going to add a little bit of overdrive here um, just to do that. This is still with the Eon. Okay, let's go back to the power cab. Eon off. 
Now here's where this is going to get tricky because I got to get the power cast somewhere in the same range that it was before. It's not quite as loud as the Eon at that setting. What I like about that is that the Line 6 already sounds more like what I think the Kemper sounds like. Um, I often play the Kemper with in-ears, and that to me sounds more like that, that profile with my in-ears in than the JBL does. It's more true to the sound that's coming out of the Kemper to, to my ear, okay? Um, now, for fun, Let's jump over and uh, play with uh, one of the modeled speakers. So what I'm going to do in this case is reach over and turn the cabinet off on the Kemper. Okay. I'm going to tilt this forward and I'm going to scroll the little buttons. I'm sure you guys have all seen this before. Down to the blue one. And then I'm going to tilt it back. And give you an idea of what it sounds like now. Let's go back to a clean sound. pickup Sorry, that was a middle pickup. Didn't make it all the way to the next. This is the next pickup. Okay, so does that sound more like a guitar amp? I don't know. There's certainly more transients there, I, th I think. Let's, let's turn the cab back on. Let's go back to the flat response setting. As quickly as I can. It's hard to tell. Sorry for the noise. I've got the noise gate on as best I can, but Okay, so when I'm letting the power cab emulate an actual guitar cabinet, yes, it, 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 it sounds it sounds more like a guitar cabinet to me. Although, to be fair, I don't often play guitar cabinets with them shot right at my face because I don't like how it sounds. I usually have them behind me shooting up sort of like a traditional backline setup. 
Uh, there's something about there's too much transient. And there certainly is a lot more transient pick response when the power cabinet is emulating a speaker cabinet rather than just acting like a flat response, you know, PA type cab. Um, so what's the, what's the takeaway from this? Um, I like the sound of the power cab better than the Eon, if those were my two choices. Um, now, the Eon is not particularly known as one of the great FRFR guitar modeling setups. It's not a QSC. It's not an alto, you know, it's not one of those ones that sort of gained a reputation for like, wow, this is great. Um, but it's not bad either, you know, and I've played through some of those. I've owned a DXR 110 when I had the Kemper the first time, and I like that. I was happy with that. Uh, there wasn't anything wrong with that. Um, but immediately, I can tell that the power cab just sounds less like a PA speaker and more like a guitar rig. Um, and if I was spending, you know, QSC money or DXR money um, on a speaker solution live, yeah, I think I would go with the power cab. Um, the option of being able to use it in cabinet modeling mode may have some great benefits down the road. You know, there are innovative new products coming out all the time. In fact, uh, Milkman Sound is coming out with something called The Amp uh, in the near future. And I'm actually really intrigued to see what happens if we take the line out of The Amp and put it through some of the speaker cabinet emulations in the power cab. And I've actually got one of those on order. So um, if that's intriguing to you at all, stay tuned. That could be a really cool little rig. Although The Amp, you know, to a certain degree is supposed to be able to do all this on its own because it's got its own um, uh, power amp built in. But still, you could do that. You could take it and forget about the 50 watt class D power amp and just run it straight into this and see what you get. Um, I don't think you can bypass the power amp on this, which might be a neat feature because um, then you could really actually run the whole thing into here. But anyway, um, that's uh, a little bit of hopefully something helpful to you guys. Um, my name's Tim. Appreciate you coming. Peace.